Hello and welcome back to Let's Play World of Warcraft Legion with me, Crudeless. Today we are doing the Stormheim intro as a horde, so we are joining our Death Knight here, Andorath, an unholy Death Knight. So I went ahead and finished off the same quests, uh, like the pre-log quest that we did back in episode 22, uh, to get a, the, the journal from Azuna. Um, which basically says the same thing. The quest involves us, basically, we executed the sailors uh, from the ship that crashed on our Alliance character. But as a horde, you save them. And uh, we're going to turn it in here to Advisor Stillwater. I am forsaken. The advisor looks down at what you're offering her and then looks around nervously. Straining to give you a rictus grin, she continues in hushed tones. Do you know what you have here? You have kept the Alliance from getting their grubby little hands on some rather delicate information. I'll see to it personally. This is safely filed away. Get some nice loot here that we can get. Our time will come. Keep all of this between you and me, Death Knight. As they say, loose lips sink ships. So, this is the intro quest to Stormheim. Nathanos Blightcaller, champion of the Banshee Queen herself, sent for you in Dalaran. He made it sound urgent. The Kirintor have provided a permanent portal to Dalaran that you can use to travel there quickly. He should be waiting for you in the Violet Citadel. And here he is. This is Nathanos Blightcaller, the new servant of the Banshee Queen, the champion of the Banshee Queen. Being Sylvanas, Nathanos glances over at you, pausing for a moment before acknowledging your presence. Yes. Do not test me. Greetings. I am here on behalf of Lady Sylvanas Windrunner. I should hope you recognize the name. Nathanus thrusts a seal envelope into your hand. Read it and follow me. You can read, can't you? Try not to get yourself killed. Stamp with seal of the Warchief Sylvanas Windrunner. Champion, as your new Warchief, I share with you the burden of securing our future. To that end, my fleet is preparing to sail for the Broken Isles. When you set foot in Stormheim, you shall have the full power of the Forsaken at your back. Make the journey with us. Together, we will ensure that no one can oppose the might of the Horde. Let's get a move on. The Dark Lady's fleet is nearly ready to leave. And here we are outside of Orgrimmar. Hmm. Satisfied. Get moving. I have no time for games. As you can see, you have spared no expense in showing our support of the great quest. Final preparations are being made. Come, walk with me. Are you familiar with the Vrykul? Towering, brutish warriors from an ancient stock. Subtlety is not a value they hold in high regard. Their legends speak of the Aegis of Agrimar. To claim it, one must undergo some kind of trial. One must be... worthy. The new catapults are faster and more powerful than ever before. I have our goblin allies to thank for that. Truthfully, Stormheim holds another treasure. One that I will be pursuing by my own means. I trust you are more than capable of handling whatever trials stand between you and the Aegis. Nathanos has been training a new generation of rangers. They represent both our past and our future. I think often about our future hero. My people cannot reproduce. Are we not destined then to wither away eventually? No. The Forsaken will never stop fighting. Not while I reign. Not when there are still beings out there with the power to stop death. News from Captain Dreadwake, my lady. They have found the temple. The Oblivion is landed nearby. They are building fortifications now, and will be ready to lay siege at your command. Good. Send a bat. Tell them we are leaving shortly. So Sylvanas has her own uh, little task that she needs to do, because the Forsaken cannot reproduce, and she has lost some of her Valkyr. If you check out the playthrough I have of the Forsaken starting area, you kind of get a view of how that works. 
will be Valkyr resurrecting the humans and making them forsaken. What are we if not slaves to this torment? Do you understand the gravity of our task? If we do not fight for our future, we will not have one. Preparations have been made, and we are ready to set sail. We must strike out at once. Do not dally, or you will be left behind. Damn it! We're sending ducks out here! The Alliance Show will be upon us soon, cowards. and we have nowhere to run. Organize our defenses beginning with the rear. I want bat riders in the air and catapults at the ready. My queen, your safety must be our first concern. Surely we can leave a few ships behind to... Do not question me, Nathanos. Now go. Make for the Eternity and bring this hero with you. Yes, of course. Come along, hero. A single gunship? Are they insane? Griffin's incoming! Man that catapult! As you can see, this is a bit of a difference from the Alliance side where we are using these catapults instead of the guns on the ship above. We start out here defending ourselves from the Alliance Griffins, while on the Alliance side, we faced off against the Batriders of the Horde. The bold fools are boarding my ship! Come on! We must take the fight to them. But it would be rude to show up without a gift. The apothecaries will have just what we need. Beasts all over the ship! Hello? Put them down! Filthy worgen. A beast in a hat is still a beast. The mixture in these vials is extremely volatile. Once you pop the cork, there's no containing it. As you saw, we defended, uh, or we attacked the uh, in invaders of the ships this time. As a lions, we defended the ships, and now we are here. Meet me on deck when the vials are in place. There is someone here I want to kill personally. And now we are on the Skyfire, and we need to place the volatile flares uh, that we removed as an alliance character. Slay them all! For the Dark Lady! Monsters! You have no place in this world! You call us monsters? How rich! Stop holding back, old man! Show us the real you! Enough! Ah, there you are! It worked. He's alive. Of course it worked. I've woken up things that were twice as dead for three times as long. This one was easy. So, we wake up here. Uh, a totally different place. This is the cove of Nashal. 
on the northern ends of Stormheim, you can see that this is where the ship, uh, the battle, uh, was it was going on out here. And we apparently fell into the water and was dragged in here by the apothecaries. Um, strangely enough, we didn't crash with a ship that went into the walls over here. So um, yeah, that somehow it happened. Let's talk to the Dread Rider Good Colin day for here. Flying. Hey, you're alive! Hey, hey, you're alive, I guess. With us isn't as crazy as I thought. It's a miracle you escaped the Skyfire alive. The pieces of that thing was scattered all over these mountains after that explosion. Now we get some new loot here, very nice. Oh, let's pick the... Ah, uh, they're all worse than what I currently have. Stay lofty. Good to see you survived the wreck. Nathanos made it as well, though his face is now even uglier than before. He took a group of rangers north to look for Sylvanas. Nobody has seen her since the battle. He asked me to send you his way. If you ever woke up. Hey, keep it up! We to find Sylvanas and Nathanos Blightcaller. Yes. No use crying over spilled toxic waste. Seriously, don't cry. The fumes can enter your tear ducts and melt your eyes from the inside. Isn't science fun? The Black Rose was a seafaring laboratory for the Royal Apothecary Society. Naturally, we had some volatile byproducts aboard. Regrettably, one such substance was released during the skirmish with the Alliance gunship. As you can see, it is taking quite a toll on the coast. The RAS must remedy this situation before we press further inland. Please, take a containment unit and fill it with the waste. For us to dispose of properly. At a later time, of course. Victory for Sylvanas. No use crying over spilled toxic waste. Seriously. Yeah, we know that. Okay, side effects may include mild undeath. Uh, exposure to this particular byproduct is quite nasty. Rapid cell degeneration quickly reduces the subject to a shambling husk incapable of any reason uh, of or thoughts beyond a violent, throbbing hatred for the warmth of life. As you might imagine, the local fauna have been affected by the spill. Oh, and most of the crew as well. Anyway, good luck. Remember, patience, discipline. So while the Alliance uh, went up and tried to save each other and uh, secure supplies for first aid, we need to collect this toxic waste. Of course we have to do that. We are helping the Forsaken. Uh, good thing I am undead. So we need to use our... Oh, kill these things, first of all. Ten of these volatile subjects. And then we need to gather these... Um, these barrels of waste. As you can see, the quests mirror each other, um, so instead of collecting the first aid kits, we are collecting the waste, and instead of killing the uh, bat riders, we are killing the volatile right sailors here. Side. Now that we're done with those quests, we're gonna turn them in before we head over to Nathanos. What now? No use crying over spilled toxic waste. We know this. Pump it up. Wonderful, just put that down anywhere. Careful not to spill it. The apothecary snickers. Haha, <laughs> snickers. Beware. The RAS is nothing if not humane. That's politely said. So, Nathanos is a little bit further up the coast. Let's go and find him. Here he is with Blighthound. This is Nathanos Blightcaller's pet, a reference to where he was back before he became one of these Out champions of the, or the champion of the Banshee Queen. He used to have a be in a house up in the Eastern Plaguelands with these Blightcaller uh, hyenas outside. What I is it? Nathanos narrows his eyes at the wreckage of Sylvanas' ship. She's out there. She has to be. Finding Sylvanas is our only priority. We will cover more ground if we split up. I will lead a team into the hills above the enemy's camp, while you search for the wreckage itself for any sign of the crew. Once you've cleared the high ground, I will meet you at the far end of the beach. Make yourself useful. The Alliance are still scouring the wreckage. They haven't found their quarry yet. The Alliance dogs have bitten off more than they can chew. They have taken, uh, they have attacked the Banshee Queen and invoked the wrath of her champion. Like my bow, my axes, and my hounds. You will be an agent of vengeance. Pile the bodies high, Death Knight, and know that I am doing the same. When next we meet, I expect to see blood upon your hands. For the Dark Lady. This guy's pretty ferocious and vicious. Let's get over here and kill some alliance. We need to search the Windrunner for clues as well uh, to see where Sylvanas has gone. And uh, here is the first clue. Dread Captain's Saber. An officer's sword stands out among the wreckage. Scanning the nearby bodies, you notice the captain is not among them. Now, the uh, alliance that we need to kill are over here. Uh, lots of them. 
uh, walking around these paratroopers that we uh, tried to rescue as an alliance inside the cave with the dragons. We now have to fight them here. Well, not the same guys, but you know what I mean. We got the queen into a rowboat, but she didn't want an escort. Told us to stay behind and fight. My guess? She landed somewhere up the coast and continued on foot. Now with the paratroopers gone, we can go and search for the final clue. No sign of Sylvanas in the hills. What have we here? That's one of hers, all right. Make it so, quick. So, she escaped after all. Hmm. They have only begun to pay for their insolence. Try not to get yourself killed. It would seem Sylvanas does not wish to be followed by us or anyone else. Her will is her own. It is not in my place to question, only to obey. In the hills nearby, a griffin master is preparing to take flight, no doubt to pursue our queen from the sky. My rangers are lying in wait, we need only to close our jaws around him. I will have his head when this is over. Take the head of Thane Wild Sky. Get moving! And we're gonna follow Nathanos here up the little hill. And up here we'll find the Thane, uh, the Thane being a Wildhammer Dwarf, I believe, a Griffin Rider. Here he is, with his two Griffins, uh, Guthrie and Bagan. Eat up, lads! We've a witch to hunt! You won't stop my hunt! Now! Now these are Plague Arrows, we need to lead Thane the Wild Sky into these. Or just nuke him down. Whatever works. Fool dwarf. Deliver his head to the foothold. Now, as you can see, the quests have diverged a bit from the Alliance side. We did not do the gathering of the, the power from the dragons. We did not fight the big dragon Vethir, um, which is kind of significant for the Horde side. And we don't know what Sylvanas is doing either, so she went off on her own without the assistance of uh, the Horde. And here is the... this is kind of cool, uh, some sort of a, a uh, an elevator mechanism that the uh, Forsaken have built here at the landing. It'll take us up to the top, where they kind of have this new base that we are going to get some quests from. Oh, look at that, a cage. That's pretty cool. So they have managed to build this so quickly, that's kind of impressive. What is it? Shoo, shoo, shoo. Make Get out of here, useful. he says to this raven, Mugen. Uh, we've seen him before mm -hmm. as an alliance, I believe. Was that Mugen? I think that was Mugen. Uh, do you have his head? Yes, I do. You watch me take it. Look carefully at this head. This is what comes to those who stand against the Forsaken. For now, we should begin our search for the Aegis of Agrimar. I will send some scouts out to discern its location. You should start your search as well. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for my loot. Thank you very much. Let's go with these. For the dark lady. Ka -ka, ka -ka. So this is the same quest that we get as an alliance. I know who you are, champion, and I know what you seek. Come to me and find yourself truly worthy. Strength alone will not win what you seek. But it will get you started. Find me near Agramar's vault. And I will put your strength to the best. Now that quest is the exact same for Horde and Alliance. There is one small choice and that is the location of the quest giver, which is different for both factions. Uh, but the procedural uh, quest is, is the same. Uh, but there is one more quest that we need to do as a Horde. This one. Alliance personnel from the Skyfire was spotted parachuting into Blackbeak Overlook. I was unable to confirm numbers of position or positions during my flyover, but I did see parachutes tangle in treetops and a lot of raven bears on the ground. If anyone is up there, they must be laying low and keeping an eye out, uh, keeping an eye on us. I have posted a rider at the top of the Overlook to keep watch while I press forward into Stormheim. Liza Cullen, Dread Rider, first wing. All right. So this quest. Oh, there is also one other here. This is the uh, the grapple gun that we know. know. Uh, use a grapple launcher. Uh, similar, we can throw this away. Uh, it's exactly the same as the Alliance gets uh, after their initial quests. Um, but yeah, this is the, another quest that the uh, Horde uh, is able to do here. And um, later on, there will be... A, we finish off the next part of the quest. We'll do that as our um, Demon Hunter only. 
And you can see these raven bears are over here. And then afterwards, when we're done with that part, we'll go back to the Horde and the Alliance because there will be some divergence in how the quests play out towards the end of the zone. This is by Master Knockwhistle. And he has fallen to a squirrel? No. Uh, the Gnome Spy was guarding a detailed report of the Forsaken Forces. Some intel there. Thumbing through the intel, you discover that Knockwhistle wasn't the only SI7 spy in the area. You scan over Knockwhistle's report. My chute caught a piece of shrapnel, made a rough landing in a raven bear nest. Luckily, a bunch of eggs broke my fall. Lost sight of Elandris and Shy uh, Schweider. Both are masters of disguise, and I'm confident they can remain undetected. We'll continue to monitor the enemy's activity, just need to clean all the yolk off my cloaking device. Hope the mother's not around. We see how that happened, uh, or what happened next, uh, pretty obvious. But there is... Some of these guys are up here, uh, Spymaster Elandris and Schwarder. And here we can see the Spymaster is a master of the skies, trying to lure this enarm uh, enamored um, raven bear. So she is in love with the Spymaster, uh, which tells us something about her skill as an SI7 agent, I guess. So we have to deal with, uh, with uh, this first spy. I shall serve. And then the second spy is over here. This is Spymaster Schwader. He is not that good at disguising himself. He just put on some horns and some, uh, I guess some sort of leaves and, or like a bush on his shoulders as his disguise. And there we go. Now we need to return to the base where we were just at and turn in the quest. Oh, actually, never mind that. We have a Forsaken Batwater here. That Finally, be I can get back into the action. Goodbye. And we get the Raven Bear disguise, which gives us the ability to transform into Sweet Raven Bear. I believe there is an Alliance version of this quest as well, so we have to check that one out uh, because both factions need to get the Raven Bear costume. Let's check it out here in the toy box. Raven Bear disguise. Ah, it's so bad. Um, but that's the horde start of the um, the Stormheim quests. Next time we'll continue off with the Harvey quest line and we'll see some of these tests that uh, will give us the ability to get the Aegis of Agramar. So stay tuned for that and check out the playlist. There is lots of videos there. There are videos for the other class quests as well. So you want to check those out if you haven't already working really hard to get those up. I've been Krulus. I'll see you next time.